Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper, Trader, Guide, Scout, and Interpreter, in country Cook, Steve Hall here in Nashville, Tennessee. And you're probably wondering what I got in this little bag here. And what I do is I got some venison steaks, actually some ribeye that I cut up to make it look like venison for the recipe. Because I found an email from 10 years ago from a friend of mine in Minnesota that I just went ice fishing with for the first time this year. His name is Wes Ellis, and he sent me a venison marinade recipe. Diet Coke, brown sugar. Soy sauce, you're gonna love it. Let's get all the ingredients on the table here. We'll fire it up and show you exactly how to make it so you can do it real quick. Only two hours for steaks and 24 hours in the, in the refrigerator for your roast, which you can punch some holes in, put some garlic in. We'll tell you all about it. But let's get started right here. Okay, you just need three simple ingredients, some Diet Coke, some soy sauce, and a little bit of brown sugar. And I'm going to give you the levels here in just a second, or the amounts. This is my handy dandy little mixing cup. I know it looks like something you got at your mother-in-law's garage sale, but I love this cup. So, But I started out with a can of Diet Coke, and what I did is I, I took it and poured it in here, and then I just poured it back and forth between this container and the glass to get rid of most of the fizz because I'm going to make a marinade and I don't want a whole bunch of bubbles in the bag there. So, and you can tell I've already been pretty successful at that. But one can of Diet Coke is in here now. And we're going to put in, let me see my little directions there, six ounces of soy sauce. Okay, we got that in there. And one cup of brown sugar. And those are the only three ingredients you're going to need for this. Again, that's one can of Diet Coke, six ounces of soy sauce, and one cup of brown sugar. Now, I always got to stir these sugar recipes a, a couple of minutes on camera to get it dissolved. But I'm going to let this set for just a second. It'll soak into some of that sugar, and I'll stir it again. Now, I would give anything if I had venison steak to show you, but I don't. All I have is some ribeye that I cut up to make it look like venison steak, but I'm not going to fool you hunters out there. I'm going to put these on this board, and Wes said to do this as well. You get yourself one of these handy dandy little tenderizers. It's got a little spring loaded thing with a bunch of little razor blade looking spikes sticking out of it, so when you push down, it pokes holes in the meat. And that's going to let the marinade come into the meat when it's in the bag. Now, I have a vacuum pack machine, and I've got a thing that Believe it or not, a lot of people have sent me messages that said, I've never heard of a chamber machine before. And that means we can put this meat in a vac bag, put the liquid in, and seal it right away because it doesn't suck air out of the bag. It sucks it out of the chamber, seals it, then compresses it down. Check it out. It's on our cooking channel where I compare food savers and a vacuum pack machine that's a chamber model. All right, I think we got a few holes in the meat there. Now we're going to put these, today I'm going to put them in a Ziploc bag because I'm not going to take the time to go vacuum seal them because I want you to watch that video and you'll know what I'm talking about. But we'll put our little steaks down in here, kind of get them away from each other so they get a little bit on each chunk of meat to start with. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stir this brown sugar in here a little more because I want to tell you something. I went to a hunting show here in Nashville, Tennessee, and I ran into a guy, kind of a round-faced guy with a beard, and I can't remember his name. He was kind of like the deer man or deer hunter, or people that are watching this probably know exactly who I'm talking about. I think he passed away, but before I, I was friends with him for a while, and before I forget, I want to tell you, I went to his web page, and he was doing roasts. And not only did he poke holes in there, he stuck, took a fillet knife and po poked holes in the roast, and then he took clumps of garlic and shoved them down in those holes. So I was thinking, if I had a roast here to show you, which I just don't happen to have today, but if you can just picture a small little roast wrapped up, take a fillet knife, be careful, don't poke yourself, and put about 10 holes in it, or more for the marinade, but in some of them, push in cloves of garlic. Then put it in the vac bag, seal it, and steaks only take two hours, but roasts take pretty much overnight. 
So, and I think, I don't feel much sugar down here in the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this in here, or part of it. That ought to be about enough, I think. Oh, what the heck. We'll pour it all in. And we'll zip it up. Now, if you were out ice fishing, you could just throw this out on the ice half of the time in the house, half of the time on the ice, or in a cooler if you're out camping, and just take your venison steak and put it in there and let it marinate for about two hours, and then you just fire up the grill. I just want to do this quick venison marinade for you so you can try it on your next steaks, take them out, pop them on the grill. It's kind of late at night, we're taping, so we're not going to go out and fire the grill up, but we are going to cook these tomorrow because I'm going to take these out of here in a couple hours and put them on a plate and grill them up tomorrow. There it is. One cup of brown sugar, six ounces of soy sauce, and one can of Diet Coke. Now, I do want to say one other thing quick. If you go check out the comparison between the chamber machine and a food saver, you'll see that we vacuum pack some stuff up. And how you do that is if you laid this down in a vac bag, not only would it cost you 25 to 35 cents a piece to use in a food saver, these vac bags are like five cents. But you couldn't do this without freezing it. Well, that does, kind of defeats the purpose. Some things you can freeze, then put in a food saver, but liquid stuff like this, you can't. And, and another reason I like to use the vac machine, now again, don't get me wrong, this is fine with a Ziploc bag, but the reason I like to use the vac machine is it pulls the air out of the bag so it actually spreads the fibers of the meat and helps it marinate in a shorter period of time. You'd only have to probably put it in there for about an hour. Now I took a little tape measure here and I measured because everybody asked me what size bags do you use. I use 8 by 10s, 8 wide, 10 long, and they hold about anything. And then they make some smaller ones. I just got a few samples here. We put our fish breading in and you can do all kinds of stuff with them. What, when you vacuum pack those, you take the plates out of the chamber so you can lay it down in there at an angle and this part lays in the sealer and it sucks the air out of the chamber, slams down, seals it, then lets the air out and psh, as it goes like that, you'll see it slam right down on the product. Check that out, it's on our cooking channel. But there you have it, venison marinade and uh, again, can of Coke, one cup of brown sugar and six ounces of soy sauce and Wes. I hope you guys are just knocking the walleyes out up there in Minnesota and I hope you got some venison steaks out there on the grill and I hope you guys are having a good time having a few brewskis and, and all that stuff. So by the way, if you like our recipes, there's our subscribe button. Let me get this out of the way. Right across the bottom of the screen, you can click on that, subscribe to our channel. You'll be the first to know when something new comes out. And is this the best little quick venison recipe for marinating your venison steaks you ever heard of? If it ain't, it ought to be. Well, how'd I do, Sheila? Great, you did fantastic. Oh, well, thank you very much. We'll see you next time, huh? Awesome. Well, thank you. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye-bye for now.